Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and I'm actually sitting in the car. We're trying to figure out the dash right now, and I want to make the dash removable while the gauge stays in here, the little 6.6 uh, .6 inch holly. But yeah, we're, we're trying to figure that out because we got things going on in here. But uh, otherwise, we're working on a bunch of random stuff today. At the end of the last video, we got all the turbo kit pulled out. I'm actually going to work on welding all of that up today. And we actually got Danny and Michaela over to help hey guys maybe throw some wiring in the car once uh once we can get in there again so got the race pack smart wire and all the wiring the dominator and we're gonna try to start looking at all the wiring i gotta make sure what uh injectors i need so we gotta get the holly harness kind of laid in the car and all that type of stuff so i can figure out what parts i can yeah. order because i need more parts coming so a bunch of randomness going on in the shop today, but we're gonna try to make some progress. Got the Dominator out of the box, and then this is Smart Wire. This thing is super cool. Everything is already like pre-labeled, uh, so you kind of know where it's going. Light high beam, and then you got like fuel pump wires, and you got you know radiator fan wires, and all that type of stuff. It's already pre-labeled and pre-marked out. That all plugs in the race pack. The race pack's gonna go on this LJ beam out here, and then the Dominator here. And this is for the EGT, so we're trying to get everything mocked up in the car. And then I'll uh, start running wire to see if it's going to work out or not. Here's the main Holly harness, so this will be good. We'll get this kind of ran in here. I'm thinking what we're going to try to do is take that, come out of the ECU, up and around, and then actually bring it through the vent, which is right here. And then it'll lay up here in this cowl, which actually kind of gains us for being the Camaro where we cut it. And then it'll come out and lay on the engine. So. Sounds good. Let's see if it actually works. So we were looking at this and actually the mount that goes up and over the column would allow us to not pull this out while leaving the screen in. So we're going to modify that thing so we can cut all this out pretty much and then the screen will slide back out of it while staying in the car. So really you could drive the car around with the screen still in the car, the dash still in the, like with the dash removed and everything else would stay in the car. So really the dash is just floating in there for rules that require factory dash. You guys done yet? Getting there. Our nice extra extra long bolts. Right. We needed some. Look at that red ECU, huh? Uh -huh. Michaela says that'll look good. It matches the paint color on her car. Oh, there you go. See? That's what you need in your car. Tell mom. Right. <laughs> now on the headers, I'm gonna just take that, fill it right back, notch that hole in it. Same with this side. Open that up. I'm gonna go notch that hole in it. And then I can lay those back on, weld it, and then go from there. I actually picked up for welding this stuff one of these glass lenses. So this should be a lot better for welding the stainless. A lot of stick out so I can reach kind of down around the tube tube down here where I need to weld. And uh, also help with hopefully keeping them nice colors going because you use a little tip, it starts to gray on you really, really easy. So if you're trying to do long runs with weld, you need the gas to flow out both directions from the cup. So then uh, they can keep them pretty pretty colors signed up for race week yeah yeah we both got in and registered now the tear down begins we've got uh <laughs> now it's time to take everything up right yeah, yeah we got a good start on her car and stuff for this year we got a few surprises up uh <laughs> up our sleeves for caroline and there you go old honey boo boo is going to go out and do what it can do so <laughs> other than that should be good you can do just one what's that or two one and two uh, so far, just one. We're going to try to Maybe get into two, two, see what we can nice. do. Um, we're not veterans in two, but... But you're going to try to get in? We'll see what we can yeah. get registered and stuff. If not, we'll take Caroline. And she's built for the street and, you know, built to go. So nice. We'll see what yeah. we can do. So I think I'm going to take Salty on race week. And we've done our first, second second race week, we cruised around together. Yes. Uh, with Clyde, and then you had Honey Boo Boo. Yep. You hadn't had Caroline. No. No, no not, not yet. yet. So. Yeah, we've been talking about going and then it's been on me to get something freaking done so now we're now we're gonna try to go do this because you always try to have your crew that you like run and with and drive with and help each other out other than when dan's car shit we just yeah, kept rolling broke but. Down on <laughs> so uh kind of survival of the fittest but yeah so that's the certified drag certified and drive right drag like, and drive. Yeah. certified street car yeah yeah I thought it was a now working on the smart wire. Okay. Going in there all right? Yep. Those nice little mounts hanging it in there off the dash. And then we got the wiring ran also in here. As you guys can kind of see, it's up in the cowl. And then it comes out 
obviously I'm gonna have to extend stuff to, uh, well that's not the right one, but extend stuff up to the throttle body once we get it up there, but we're wanting to get the race pack, kind of get all the wiring in the car and mocked up so we, we just know where it's going or if there's something I need to order or different connectors or whatever to make it make sense. So trying to just get kind of like a, what, a, a mock up of all the wiring, I guess. Absolutely. More or less, yeah. So we're having to find bolts. That's always a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this smart wire? It's kind of cool. So like that's that's everything. That's your it's all like solid state relay. That's it. Yeah. So just like a nice complete package in one deal. Yeah, yeah. So you put the you run the power to that main lug on there, and then everything comes off. I think that's about it. Nice. I got a couple of the like Holly solid state relays too for anything that's like separate that that thing doesn't take care of, like uh, fuel pumps stuff like that. But I think we're gonna be pretty good. And then you guys can see everything starts to land real nice and clean. So then if we ever have to work on the side of the road, we know, we know where it's at. Absolutely, yeah, hopefully you never have to work <laughs> hopefully on Hopefully not. Remember, <laughs> if you broke down on the side of the road because of the smart wire, it's Michaela's fault. <laughs> That's the girl you That's need to see. That's what we're just saying. If I give her the thumbs down and drives by and it's because of the wire, she's just going to keep going. Though. But, uh, but like, hey, where's that wire going? No, right. so it's uh, trying to make it as simple as possible, but then as usable as possible as well. At the same time, is always kind of the like, the battle. Oh, oh. got this already prepped so I'm gonna jump over and weld this we're gonna put a little bar in here so then we can ditch all of this so then that should adjust it to make it removable we've been able to go straight to that plug the plug for the factory tail harness is driver rear corner so yeah. kind of looking at it we figure one is front and one is rear car right that's kind of what we're looking at yeah so looking at this one here you've got um, all your brake provisions third brake light Got your ground, left and right, uh, tail light, fuel nice. pump, um, all the brake things. light switch, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everything. So, the but more or less, car. one's gonna come out and run towards the back, yeah. and then the other one will go, that one will yeah. go probably and towards then, the front. I think this is the fan, yeah, so this is kinda cool. Cause yeah. it, this thing can bridge two wires. You can bridge two wires with a smart wire to make one. So I think it's like 20 amp per, and then it makes it a 40 amp. So it's really, really cool that it can do that. Yeah, and May's got the one. It looks like it's got, uh, if you hold that out, Looks like this one's got all of your right turn light, okay, yep. left, high beams, low beams. It looks like all front of the car. Sick. So, should be able to... Car wiring in a box? Absolutely. Got the wire laid in there? Yeah. Not too bad, huh? At least this side of it. Yeah. Lays in there. It's actually not big bundle there. We figured we'd run it kind of where the factory wiring goes. Along there. We'll have to clean that up. And then it comes all the way back to here. I think we got enough wire, especially once we get everything kind of tight and tidied up. Uh, maybe a little short in a couple places, but I was like, why is this so short? But that's actually a wiper motor wire, so it can go up there. But we don't have wipers where we're going, so uh, rain exit is. You got wipers on your car? No, it's rain exit. <laughs> rain exit? <Yeah. laughs> all right, so we got the dash all cut out through here. It's a nice hole going. Nice job, guys. It's kind of round-ish. Well fits somewhat. Now we got this thing that's also kind of sort of not really around that we figure will go right about there. This is from when I mocked it up in the car, kind of knew the corner was right about there, right about there. So we're going to cut it about an inch out all the way around. That is definitely not very square, but I'll kind of clean that up as we go. And then uh, that'll end up hanging in the car. We'll have our dash in there and that should be, be about what we're looking at. So, kind of getting this thing set up in here and it looks something about like that which i think looks super super clean it's super simple we're talking about putting a metal ring on the back side of this to mount it to and then coming off of there and coming over and tying to the dash bar probably up here um, or off of like the factory firewall area there, uh, but that's kind of where we're at with that. I think that's gonna work great.
This is a new clear cup on this thing. A plus plus rated. Don't uh, don't check this out. Bust it down. But uh, looking gosh dang really good. What's nice is whenever you get done welding, you can see like if you end right there, you still have all the gas flowing all the way back around here, so it keeps it really really nice and uh, really really covered. So definitely definitely worth investing into one of these if you're gonna do a bunch of stainless welding on like headers and stuff. Shit. God bless. Wow. She about blew the shop down. You huffed and he puffed. <laughs> what I ended up doing is putting a center hole here. Got my hole saw that's going to get me real, real close to this back edge. It'll kind of come real close to the back edge. And then I'll just have to re... I'll have to take my die grinder and clean up the rest. Or another little hole saw or something back there. But otherwise that should get us close to clearing out the wastegate spot. So many, many hours later, and a whole bunch of guys hung out, and we got some more little stuff done on the car. I am 98% welded on the tubes, just some pieces that are hot that I want to let cool and finish welding. But otherwise, we're almost, almost there. Another random day of a bunch of stuff. That's kind of what we're going to need to get through, and then we'll have a bunch of little projects to get through as well. Bigger, smaller projects, something like that. So, kind yeah, of all, of the all, all of it. So. Uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button so this gets pushed out to new people. We'll see you guys in the next video.